These are the steps. You can try. Just go. That is one way and never. Just go to the compare means. Then one way and never. Variables we all have. Okay. And we should consider a variable who has more than two categories. Okay. I have chosen wealth. Okay. That has five categories. Hmm? Just add that one and just run. No need to do anything. Just do. Are you getting results? Okay. There are two causes of variability. What is that one? Between and within. Is there is any significance? Hmm? No significance means? Mana? Wealth has no relationship with the systolic blood pressure. Okay? If you talk with the clinician, whether they will be happy? Why? What is the clinical presentation says? Paise wale to jada aate hai, dawa khane ke liye. Okay? Now, if you are good in the cardiology, then you should maintain some sort of explanations. The reviewer will not going to ask how you get that similarity or there is no variability. And whatever the variability you are getting is same. That is the answer? No. There is one thing that is lacking within that data that has not incorporated who are on medication, who are not on medication. Is that clear? There is no column for the medication, yes or no. Now, assume that situation. I don't know. I have a normal BP. Those who have the elevated BP, they are on medications. What will it will bring down? It will bring down the normal, make it normal. But that whether they are truly normal in terms of systolic. In that case, that the clinical explanation comes into the picture. Your statistics is saying they are more or less same based on their wealthy status. Whereas the clinical prospect says that the information which you have conveyed to us is lacking some of the things. What is called? information about the medication. These things are quite easy and the same thing was done by the pathologist. Okay, we have some sort of information, but the clinical relevance can be understood by those clinicians who has personally interacted. The same thing which the, that pathologist people are doing, we are also doing in terms of statistical cares. Okay, we handed over these results by stating that, sir, the results is not showing any kind of differences in terms of systolic blood pressure based on the wealth index, okay, wealth classification, then they will add a note. Since the data is lacking with the information about the medication, under that assumption that no medication information is there and all either, either have considered as a normal population, then and only we are getting that, okay. If we segregate this medicated versus non-medicated, eliminate that medicated one, they are controlled by, food, by medication. Then you compare with non-medicated people, I think there will be some difference. That's why the number of people who are from the rich group or the middle class, they are getting more hypertensive medications than that of unaware or say uneducated people. Okay? So many a times your justification is not always accepted. Okay? Clinical is therefore we always say that when you are going to consult any statistician, sit with them. Don't rely on the results because the result says about only particular respect that cannot be explored each and everything. Okay. Otherwise, your situation is like a house, wife, and couple's situation. Husband is under control, wife is under control. Ultimately, both are out of control. Okay. <laughs> now you can also try with the non-parametric. Again, I think you all have recalled about the options. Non-parametric legacy. Then go to the K independent samples. K means now we have considering only two. In the previous case, Wilcox and rank some test. Now we have multiple categories. Just put that one. So they ask for the range actually. Again, the range. Range means now we wanted to go with the two one. Then one, two, two, three, you should you can do. Right? One one to five. Five categories you have. K independent. Because each of the categories are independent. Okay? Range, see in your categories, the wealth has been considered for the five different groups. Poorest, poor, middle, richer, richest. Five categories, just write one to five. Done? 
getting the results what it says significant difference isn't that is striking okay then it's significant then just see how the proper taste selection can change the direction of the thought isn't it now we, that will also help when we started someone says that if you have a sample size more than 30 then that will be normal what is the sample size here 7800 whether the Kolmograph synopsis you know, stage told that it is a normal data, then this assumption is not always valid. Okay? Since the data is non normal and we tested for the non normal test, okay? That is saying the exact thing. Whether that suits your perception or not, based on the economical status, blood pressure, medication, or stress level is keep on changing. Okay? Then if you are using a wrong test, your inter inter inference about that particular situation may be wrong. Okay? If you have test karke rakh diya, to gar -gar ho Jaise, agar kisi ko bol diya, blood, main aaj sugar test karake gaya, aur mera sugar aage 140. What is the presumption? Main kya honga? Diabetes or non-diabetic? Hmm? Diabetic? This is again you are doing a mistake. Then the clinician is smart enough. Because the ho, main sarkari wala doctor hai, unhi chahta hai, tum mere paas pira. They will ask one thing. टेस्ट कितने बजे कराया था बोला सर 11 बजे रात को कितने बजे सोए थे खा के चलो 12 बजे रात को खा के सोते तब तो ठीक है अगर इफ आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय डिनर एट अराउंड 8 विद दिस इज अ गुड टाइम टू टेस्ट 10 आवर्स आइडियल फास्टिंग नॉट बिफोर नॉट आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम आई वाज स्पेंडेड 11 प्लस 4 आवर्स आफ्टर 15 आवर्स आई हैव विजिटेड द ब्लड टेस्ट ऑब्वियसली माय ग्लूकोज लेवल विल बी एलिवेटेड इज इट अ राइट टेस्ट टू जज नो that can be used for the preliminary assessment. The final decision should be such kind of thing that is not elevated with the time, time of collection and the impact of that change that is happening in our body. What do you go? What do you will do? HB1. The a measurement that is least influenced by the, your time of collection and your dietary habit. Okay? Again, you should be very careful. Therefore, the clinicians are called as a very renowned person if you are good enough because they know the cause of that change. Okay? Otherwise, you should be like, Aray, mera tu sugar level bar gaya hai. Mujhe kal se chini nahi khana hai, chai nahi pina hai, ye, ye, sab chalu kar diya. And the problem is that, I have tasted myself on a wrong time. This is similar sort of situation. If you have not followed the assumption, that the direction of your thought will get inflected. Here, you are seeing that sales. And that is a sufficiently large database. Isn't it? 7800, that is not a small one. Is that clear? Means, if the data is not normal, which stage you should follow? Non-parametric. When you have opted the non-parametric, are you getting the same result which you have presumed or not? Okay? That's why you should be very careful about the, your assumptions. Is that clear? So the main thing is that first of all, we have data that we have to normal. Exactly. Step wise, because this is assumption. Okay? Like if someone was told, to ask for the question. Okay? And the person is feeling the gynecological question in terms of man. Whether you should test, what kind of assessment you did, isn't? Therefore, before going for the questions regarding that gynecology, you should first confirm whether the gender is male or female. Okay, I can ask one more thing. Okay, you are supposed to collect the information about number of children you enter in the university campus. Okay, you knock a door. Okay, and there is a column number of children. Okay, and that is a scholar's room or say a student room what they will say number of children then you will write correct there is a married couple just six months before married and you ask how many children you have are the same is this number is same this is how what kind of blunder we do that zero means married without any children zero means that married with one children two children three children okay and here there is no marriage. Still you are asking number of children. The answer should be not applicable. Is that clear? This is called sensitivity of the data. Okay, so, so you should be very careful. What I am going to write because again same height and weight, buffalo and your comparison uh, point and I will increase my height, my buffalo's weight will increase. No relationship at all. Okay. Now 
Have you seen why that assumption are very much required? Otherwise, your test and interpretation gets affected because of the wrong assumption or classification of the data. Okay. Now, how many groups we did? Two groups, earlier that was two groups. Now it's completed into three groups or five groups. Now we are subclassifying this thing using the in a two-way analysis. Okay, what is that two-way analysis? Two means each class will be subclassified into more than, uh, sorry, by classified by another characteristic. In earlier case, systolic blood pressure, gender. Systolic blood pressure more than two categories is the your occupation, okay, or wealth status. Now we are subclassifying wealth based on the gender, whether their gender will look out. That is another part that is called as a two-factor analysis. Is that clear? When you have two variables or factors, what are the, these two variables? First is your socioeconomic status and another is gender. Now you are adding these two. No, no, something wrong is happening. Do you want to Why we are considering females on another side? Because in Indian economy, the female contribution or participation in the occupation is quite less. That's why the housewife number is comparatively higher than that of European countries. Then you should segregate who are more careful and who are less careful. Then under that situation, the data will be look like that. Same group, say poorest, male, female, then middle class, then male, female, then rich class, male, female. Okay? Is that clear? That is called two-factor ANOVA model. Is that clear? What is the second factor? That subclassify each of the factors. Now, example is there, say in the first case, in the one factor, what we are doing? Say therapy. Medicated, yes, no, is on higher dose, lower dose, or whatever you want, you can do. Whereas in the two factors, and let's say therapy with gender, who are more consistent. Like, if you give the medication to the man, what they will always imagine? They will stick to that one. If you give the same medication to the female, khana kake kange. The medication is started with the breakfast and just completed by the after completion of the lunch. And if you inquire, Dawali hai, abhi khake leti na. That is always, these all reminders are like an alarm. Then in that, both hectic schedule, taas to me khana, dawa khana bul gai. It is something like they are climbing on the rock. Okay, why? They are giving the less importance to the medication. In that case, you will see different kind of situation. Okay, these all things. In addition of that impact, based on the socioeconomic status, some routine habits is also required to be incorporated. That is called gender, that is inherent, okay? In that situation. There are various kind of first factor analysis. First factor means whether there is a difference, uh, just in this, uh, let me go. How may be, uh, what may be comparison? Say first one, this one, this one, this one. First one, then among each group, okay, and then between each group. There are three different level of interaction. First interaction, second based on your uh, occupation or the socioeconomic status and thereafter gender wise. Three different interaction. Based on this three interaction, these hypotheses are there. Null hypothesis, no difference. This is the, that's why our null hypothesis is always tested, that hypothesis for the no difference, isn't it? Where is the alternative? Hypothesis for the? Kahi na kahi to difference hoga yoga. And the ANOVA is a very good thing. If there is a insignificance in, at any stage, that will be incorporated and that will be traced out. This is in one of the example, okay? Here our factor is that study status. This is factor A and this is called uh, gender. Status has this as many variables. Study then two by two tables. That is a continuous measurement. This is a simplest example. And if you want, you can keep on increasing. Partially participated, not participated or participated, okay? These three. Then in that case, the same thing will be followed based on the gender, okay? Then how you will do? as many calculation you have to do. That was done by the same school days mathematics. But you have to, like in t-test, you are doing A to B, then B to C, as many tasks you have to complete. These all tasks will be taken care by the spaces, okay, or any software which you want to use. These all steps are required to make a same final one line judgment using your p-values. Thereafter, there is a p-value. I think in your spaces you have checked. These all are calculations. And that p-value is for the final decision, okay. If I want to do, these steps are quite easy. Just try, okay? Just again started with the 
This is called generalized linear model because we are adding some another cause of variability. Just go in the spaces, right? Generalized linear model is there. One option is there. Okay, below that univariate possible. In the generalized linear model, just select univariate. Done? Then within that univariate, your dependent variable is, put that one, systolic blood pressure. And fixed factor is, first write, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. First write wealth. Done? Then gender, okay? Then there is an option for plots. Go there and write horizontal wealth and separated lines by gender. This is what we did. First we classified on the wealth, then segregated based on gender. Then post hoc is there. Then what is that? Write that one. Wealth. That we want to compare. Okay? Then equivalence to keys. Okay? We are assuming the variability is same throughout each group or subgroup. Okay? Done? Click OK. Getting the results? This is called two-way ANOVA. Okay? Now there is a column besides the, that F statistics. P values? All these values are significant. Which are significant? Can anyone tell? Gender, gender. gender is significant. Then? Intercept. intercept. Forget about intercept. Intercept is not. Only gender. Only gender. If we classify based on the socioeconomic status, even though there is already we have seen there is a difference. Okay? Uh, the cause for the differences is gender. Okay? Is that clear? The, what you have to report? You have to report the same tables in your analysis. Mentioning that the differences which we are observing in case of systolic blood pressure based on their socioeconomic status, gender playing a significant role. Okay? That's why that variability is there. Okay? But I have used that one word. Post hoc means? Obtain. Then what you will do with after the result? No, no. What we want after the analysis you did, you get a results. Then what is the use of that post hoc test? Exactly. This is an additional curiosity that has been added up. How it does. Say I am, you all are a student of say BHU, okay? Once you completed, what do you imagine? Can you survive with that tag? You have completed your education with BHU. Whether you will be happy enough? If you stay with the same degree for five years, what is your additional desire? That is also an achievement as well as criticized part of your life. But I BHU is a PhD karke baitha hua hai. Whether this is a good thing? You have completed your course from BHU, but still you are doing nothing. Okay, and once you get employed, then the, the credit goes to BHU. Since he completed his PhD from the BHU, that's why he is getting that job. Isn't it? That is called post hoc test. Once, and those who are got supplement, got failed, what, the, what their guardians should expect? Gadaita. Isn't it? He is kind of means illiteracy that he can't understand where he is exactly. Isn't it? The post hoc test says that once you are getting some evidence, you want to see the prospect as well as the direction. Or we can say, isn't it? Prospect means what are the additional things you, you can explore or interpret. Or in that case, this is a prospect. And what is called differences? Whether the direction of the differences is towards positive, negative, and whom should be preferred. Isn't it? The post hoc test. Can anyone see? This is an example that is available in terms of two keys. Someone has pasted that I just, just check. The first difference between B and A. Zero means no difference. What is saying? Is this significant or not? Once it is touching the zero line, we should not say any direction. Okay? Can any other test it seems to be? Which one? Only DB. It says that, the di that will also be visible in your P values also. The differences says that among these entire possible combinations, only one difference that can say the unidirection. What is that one? The difference between those who are touching that zero, like in odds ratio, if the value is touching the one, then what we will say? That is inconclusive. Here, if the value is touching zero, then we should say, we can't say anything. Either we can go, or we can go. 
okay inconclusive decision whereas if it is unidirection the tukish test will confirm the change you will observe in the entire combination will only seen in that d versus b okay drug effect in order to do that one this is on this is done by for the tukis only but tukis is not only the way as many procedures are there based on the objectivity the test were decided for the post analysis okay i am not if you have seen that uh, post hoc test you have clicked eight or nine names are there you should not select each and every one based on your objective or the hypothesis you have planned you should opt this test for the post assessment or post uh, analysis decision or conclusions what are these first one is for the von ferrano is used for the multiple comparison when do we do the multiple comparison say in the first regression analysis you have add age there after age and gender there after age gender and education there after etc etc you have calculated a total of 100 p values as many comparison is possible every time you are increasing your error in order to check after doing as many analysis what should be the exact p value okay because you have added different different aspects you should go with the bone ferrano adjustment what should be my optimum p value so that all model will have some relevance like i can give you an example assume that a person did the analysis using a systolic blood pressure case hypertension uh, how many ways we can define hypertension hypertension first systolic high then diastolic high then both high then one is on medication isn't it another who is not on medication but detected by the doctor this the pehle bola tha there are five different ways to detect every time you have to run that model and every time we are getting a p value whether this p value should be uniform same patient assessed under five different situations in that case you should adjust that p value then who will do that adjustment using that bone ferrin correction okay means after running multiple possible combination of the variables you want to standardize so that each and every aspect should be equally weighted that is done by the bone ferrin is that done is that clear second thing duncan's new multiple range mri uh, sorry multiple range test mrt test when you are going doing that pair wise comparison okay multiple comparison are possible different say a person has been assessed one month six month nine month and 12 month and you want to see the change in which differences the change is higher this is not uniform one month three month six month and then say 12 months then in that case how you will judge then the second thing that will help you to check whether the directional change is more or less in which gap time gap in the first days or at the higher gap okay that is for the duncans okay third one is a fissures <coughs> did when you have two means of significant difference you have made a possible combination and you want to check fissures correction you also know that the fissures correction did that if you are doing some kind of adjustment in terms of difference in the means then the fissures post hoc test help you to judge whether that difference should be significant or not to make any judgment okay that adjustment is called fissures exit test then safes method is there this is for the uh, if your number of comparison it depend on another way like we did gender yes no now and then post then safes test is also there okay for the pair wise <coughs> then tukis test just we you have seen then uh, then another correction of the tukis test if your tukis test has a one problem what is that one you are also calculating that standard mean isn't it uh, in contrast to tukis is the compare if you are adding say like yesterday sir was saying na are yaar ye bandi nahi hota hai jaldi rehta hai nahi band ho raha tha ye sara recording ho raha tha tumko pata hai चलो ओके अब नहीं चाहिए ओके इधर है नहीं है नहीं तो ये बंद हो जाएगा ओके ज्यादा खुद ही सेंस करने लगते हैं आजकल आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस जिंदगी बर्बाद कर रही है ओके देन आई थिंक यस्टरडे सर हैज टोल्ड व्हेन यू हैव से थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट वन इज कंट्रोल 
then how you will compare? Control cannot be compared with the another combination of control. Control should be standard. First you compare A to B, B to C, then control. And control should be compared with each and every combination. In the, in the case of Tukish test, we are not going to consider anything is control. Once it is compared, once compared, not will come another time. Whereas in the Duncan's test, what we do? We can consider one group as a control group, okay? Considering the fish control group, which one is more effective? The quantum of effectiveness will be decided later on, okay? First you compare A, B, B, C, and C, D. Then you consider another group A, then you compare with A, with how much good is this, okay? This is called additional part. Is that clear? Two keys not consider any control group. Whereas Duncan's two keys just revise variable, consider a control group. This is the only thing. So based on your objectivity of your analysis, the proper post hoc test should be planned and the proper assumption checking can only the tools that will help you to make a judgment about the suitability of the test. Otherwise, just doing SPSS doesn't make any sense. Sir, in bond formula, you said that the P value has to be adjusted, so it mm -hmm. has to be adjusted for all the groups. No, no, no. He will say, say you have 10 P values. He will say, you need an adjustment, you divide that p-value by 10. What is that p-value? 0 0.05, divide by 5, 10. That will reduce. You again recheck all these values. Whether the, your, as many models that have reported that revised p-values will be considered as a significant, otherwise you have to drop. That cannot be used for the judgment, okay? If someone is using all possible combination of the data, you can make a uniform judgment then who should be considered as a frame of reference? Because if someone is working in the clinical setup, do you think they are more serious about their medication, yes or no? Not at all. They always have the availability, na? because they know they, they will just go and consult. They, have, they are more on treatment, okay? Just consider a person who is residing just behind, outside of this campus. Isn't it? Who will indulge his head in that crowd? Okay, that is also a third one. They will try to avoid as much as they possible. The combination should not be uniform through that for that society. Then which model you should consider? That depends and selected by this bone perineal adjustment. You have made a list of 10 possible combination for that cause of the hypertension. Under our situation, under study, that particular models are only suitable, otherwise you should not consider that one. Okay, is that clear? The things, these tools are very much sophisticated. But proper care, proper understanding will help you to click the proper option. Okay? I think you all have seen doing that SPSS or working with the SPSS is not tough. The only toughness part is that? Yes. How you have created your background, what is your objective, and how you are dealing with your data and the descriptions. Okay? That's why when you are going to consult any doctor, specifically neurology or cardiology, or any sophisticated diseases, sophisticated means they will help you to understand that chain. Okay? Then they will say, come with the patient. Okay? That summary will help them to make a proper lineup for the treatment. Okay? Diagnosis plan. Similarly, in our statistics also, proper discussion as well as proper evaluation of the data will help the statistician to guide you in a proper way to execute. So, don't rely on the softwares rely on your intuitions and understanding which you have built in the throughout eight days. Every aspect, every assumption has significance. Otherwise, like in the, your classical ANOVA test, you will be misguided. Even though you feel, but you can't take claim. Okay? With these notes, I wish all of you a best and the thing I expect, whatever the things, uh, the entire team of that VHU try to deliver you to get exposure as well as a better understanding about the statistical aspect you are getting and you will use, isn't it? Okay? Thank you everyone.